Thank you, my lord. I mean, that's it. Uh, Brigadier, now, just to tie up that point that we were engaging on before the break, are there any witness statements that say they saw suspects running away from the crime scene, that is, the Kumalo household? Yes, I, I think there is, my lord, but one will have to go through the first volume to be specific, so that I can, we can go through them, so we, we can, and we can, we can share them. We can share them. And, but and, I have a recollection of... Um, I think they're anxious of seeing something to that effect, my lord. Such a enough. basic question, a very basic question. Are there any witnesses that say they saw suspects running away from the crime scene, the Spaza house, the Kumalo house, whatever house you want to call it? Are there any suspects? And the lead investigating officer says, yes, but I will have to go through the first volume, a.k.a. I haven't even done my investigation yet. No, I didn't go through any, any of the statements. I just waited for Zungu to land on my lap with his evidence. And then I arrested accused number one, then number two, then number three, who was already in prison and then four, five. That is how the lead investigator completed his arrests of the five accused. But there's a whole volume. According to him, we didn't know this. We didn't ask him, but he has just revealed there's a whole bunch of evidence he hasn't gone through. Oh my goodness. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But let's continue on. Maybe there'll be more revelations from the good cop. And, and the late Mr. Mukit as well, the one that we spoke about, I think he does talk about someone running away as well. Mr. Um, Makalin, sorry, the deceased. The one, the one who assisted with the drafting of the ID kit for the second suspect. Did those witnesses specifically say or said, I saw <clears throat> suspects running away from 13511? Kutlanon Street, Mzamo section, first floor last, on the 26th of October 2014, from between 2000 hours and 2115 in the evening. No, there's not there's not even a single witness that says that, including the people in, who were in the house, my lord. Yes. They don't explain it in that context. Yes. They, no, there's no one who puts it specifically like that. So what are those witnesses that you say you can check? What are they saying? My Lord, I, th I think so that one does not misquote them. If I can be given yes. an opportunity, I think, I yes, think we can embark on that exercise. Yes. But my recollection is like, um, you'll have inference like saying Makumalo's house or Kelly's house, you know, that's how they describe the Yes, thing. yes, but, I want yeah, that. Yes, yeah, but, but there's, I don't think there's even a single one in my mind that I recall that identifies the house in terms of the house number no, yes. and the time. Yeah, I, yes, I said uh, in a generic form, mm. uh, the crime scene. Yes, no, in a general form, my lord, I think, I think we may find those statements. I'll just say we'll give you an opportunity. So I'll, that, so I'll give you that change. opportunity so that uh, during the long agenda, mm -hmm. we can get to it after the long agenda. Okay, man. Now, you, you will recall as well that before these particular accused persons were arrested, A, Mr. Mbata was arrested for this matter, and an identity parade was conducted in that, uh, for, 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 for that uh, suspect, we called it. I do recall my note. And in this instance, uh, specifically regarding accused number two after his arrest on the 16th of June 2020, uh, why was an identity parade not conducted for him in respect of the people that were in the house? M my lord, I do recall specific in two instances the two people that I interviewed, and that is Mr. Togo um, Zisitwala and Mr. Matala, who said they were 50 50. I think they put it in that context that they are not 100% sure that they will be able to do an identification parade. And I think I took their statements because I know they put it in the middle. So it, 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 it wasn't going to take us anywhere. Insofar as the others, um, as I've said, my lord, um, the investigation was prosecutorial driven. You sit with the prosecution and you regard it as to which witnesses you can use or not. But those two specifically, I interviewed them um, and they gave a statement to say it's, 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 they're not 100% they're not sure, it's 50-50. I think that's how the statement is called. Uh, no, 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 no. Not so fast, Brigadier. Not so fast. What do you mean? This was an investigation driven by the prosecution team and therefore you did not get authorization to do the identity kit with the identity parade with the eyewitnesses? So wait a minute. You mean to tell me Mr. Makeleni is good for telling you what he saw that night, but not good for an identity kit? When did he die? When did he die? Do you see the reason why the death certificate hasn't been brought up to the court? What do you mean? Only Umtoro and Umtoro uh, um and um, um Togo and Utumelo, uh, only Um Togo and Utumelo are the ones who you conducted an interview with, and they said, nah, 
And Dizzy, I'm 50-50. I'm not sure. Don't ask me, okay? But that same Tumelo in court used his whole fingers, okay? Used his fingers and did the pointation. What in the Zanzi unfiltered nonsense is this? Now, do you see why my Piri is singing like a canary? Do you see why she is singing? Because, did you see how easy it was for the investigators to throw the prosecution team under the bus? He just threw them right there. Pa! Asubaloi. I went to Tumelo and I went to Umtago and they said they just couldn't. And as the lead investigator, I said, it's okay. Okay, we'll take you for counseling. We're just going to kumbaya this moment. Let me just arrest them anyway. Let me arrest them anyway. Let me charge them and let them sit in jail for four years. Who really cares? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a revelation from the book of Gininda. Do you notice he's stuttering? Do you notice he's uh, struggling to speak in his eloquent voice? The one that he used over there by the... Um, evidence in chief what is the challenge now oh my goodness let's keep listening on now regarding the rest of the people that were in the house um, what decision and why was it taken by an id parade they shouldn't come to an identity parade where at least number two will be part of the people that are in the lineup so that they can have an independent identification should they identify him at that time rather than what transpired here in court him being uh, identified from the dog my lord like i said um the first part like i said the two witnesses that i interviewed said they were not 100 percent certain so they didn't rule out the possibility but they also could not confirm that they will be able to identify the accused because of the period that it has taken and the such as i said my lord that took statements to that effect um, the other assessor said it was procedural driven investigation. Um, there were guidelines and given as to who we can use and who we cannot use. Um, um, that, that's, that's how far I can answer it. Manjanga, Mukmala, Nabanya, Gabanya, Gutbanga, Nigazaga, Itubag, Nama, Utibahambe, Bayo Kumbagala, and Solo Speedy Azabakonagi, Nagi, 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 Nagi,
when the hood is inserted with the photo that was um, crafted or drawn on the 29th of um, um, October 2014. Right? Now your index number will be A154. A154? Yes. Uh, not, uh, A154 is another report by Warren Officer Stilcom, Amanda Stilcom, who is the facial image analyst who also compared the initial uh, identity kit exhibit J from which exhibit BB was extracted. Now. And with leave of the court, number once the brigadier has obtained the relevant instrument from his pocket, I beg leave to take it. <clears throat> yes, my lord, I do have 154, A154. Uh, now this report was commissioned on the 19th of June 2020 in East London. Uh, if you can assist me, uh, Kendall, by going to the commissioning part who the commissioner was and the deponent is Amanda Yvonne Stilkamp. Yes, I, I don't know this person, but it's someone from East London. It's um, A. Labes, nothing like that, uh, my lord. Um, Strach. Strach. It's Petros. Paulos. Paulos. Um, Engel. Klobelar. Klobelar, yes. Okay. Klobelar, he's a lieutenant colonel. As you can see, Rams caught the good cop by surprise with this whole identity parade. Read, okay? Read Amanda Stenekamp's uh, new statement after you asked her to alter the original identity by giving her Bongani Tenzi's photo and asking her to dress him in a hoodie. Oh my goodness, a Photoshop 2.0. But the good brigadier is like, mm -mm, I'm not ready to read this. Let me just quickly scan this before I walk into the trap. Let me see how I'm going to do this. So you see this whole hesitation, this long pauses and the struggle and even telling us he doesn't know the person who commissioned the document. Then I ask myself, brigadier, can in the do you know everybody? Do you know everybody in the South African Police Services? Because that statement is quite concerning. It's actually quite alarming. Like, wow, I don't even think the National Commissioner knows everybody's signature. But who am I? Who am I to ask this? So you already know this video is already at 12 minutes. So let's have the Funda Temba, Funda Temba reading in a separate video so we can break that down exclusively right here on Umzansi Unfiltered. Thanks so much for watching. I will definitely catch you on my next upload. Um, you know the things. Okay, okay. In this series, we don't really do the closings because we're trying to...